In a previous demo I showed you how to make an array and in this particular demo I'm going to show you how to use the found set of records to fill the data of an array and I'll use that found set in the background using the same table, same script basically although I do have to declare an array so that I can fill it with the data in the background so I'm going to create a company names array and I'm going to fill it with the company names, all the company names in our uh, database uh, literally again I don't need to filter because I'm using all names and I want to start at the first row uh, so basically um, uh, what I need to do at this point in time is remember I said arrays have an upper bound uh, requirement so I'm going to redim the upper bound of our array, our company names array uh, to reflect the number of records in the record set uh, and in this case I have to reflect it with a minus one uh, the reason being is that arrays do start at zero so therefore zero in numerical sequence is actually a one uh, so if I take one off to ensure I don't uh, go over the bound limits I need to uh, reset my I to zero to reflect um, the starting point of the count and as before we'll do the records equal uh, uh, records equal um, while loop while rnet.next uh, row uh, I'm resetting the I now and literally what we're going to do is within the array is put in company names array where I being the number and the string attached equals the actual company name field so it will get the data of the company name from each field as we scroll through the loop set Yeah, if I put a breakpoint in this uh, script and we run this array you will now see the outcome uh, of the array in the uh, script debug box and uh, basically there's the company names array and as you can see it's scrolled through and it's put the company name in each very handy for different programs throughout uh, while scripting